See, we don't care what the event is, right? But every time they ask you to discuss, discuss the impact of an event on the economy, I have a, the greatest fear I have is failure to address every part of this dartboard. Economy, aka performance, it's about four goals ago. So if I see any essay, all right, I think I gave you a case study. The question was impact of a certain event on the economy. Okay. This could be a 15 mark essay, could be a 25 mark essay, could be a 10 or 8 mark case study question. If you do not address all four goals, no matter how well you explain the rest of your answer, your marks will be kept. Okay. It's like if I ask you to discuss impact of an event on standards of living, your whole answer only talked about material. You miss out non material. Okay, you know your marks will be kept. Maybe low end of level two. So the idea here is we have to try to address every part of this dark point. And now I kind of know that, okay, whenever a question asks me what's the impact of an event on the economy, I have to address the four goals. Now you have a shortcut. You know the four goals are affected by the two keys. Then exports and FDI. Right? One way to make sure you will never get capped for such questions is to link the event to any of these two things. Then you may say, so easy, you know, how do I know I can link? They are affected by different things, you know? Okay, do you remember what affects X minus N? We had price competitiveness, right? Of your exports. We had quality competitiveness. And what's the thing in the middle? Income, very good, income levels. Okay, X minus M is affected by these three things. FDI, I'm going to put three arrows. You tell me which one to pick up. Foreign investors. Okay, which point should be taken up? FDI. I put in eyes. I see. Huh? There's a point, there's a factor here that should not be here. Which one is it? Foreign investors, when you come to your country, they come with a suitcase full of cash. They must be very wealthy, that's why they are going overseas to invest. They are not going to go overseas and start knocking on the doors of the banks to ask for a loan. So which point should be taken up? So remember, CGI X minus M. I is affected by all three. But when you talk about FDI, it's not affected by interest rates. Huh? Are you okay? Questions? Okay. Any question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, look at this. So we have inflation, we have uh, growth, we have unemployment, we have balance of payments, FDI, you notice, corporate tax and expectations. There is no interest rate here. Whereas when you look at domestic investments, uh, we have interest rates. But for FDI, don't have. Okay. You all follow? Now, one further point. You know, if, you, if you are wondering, hey, why are you talking about this now? Because I said, whenever you get a question asking you for the impact of a certain event on the economy, okay? you have to tie back to the four goals, right? And when you tie back to the four goals, you have to 
find a shortcut if possible, which is any of these two keys. And if I look at these two keys, I am focusing on this, expectations. Expectations can be very general. The event, if it's good, it improves expectations. The event, if it's bad, it worsens expectations. So I feel that this is a point that can be used no matter what. So we will never write an essay and fail to achieve a link to all four goals because of the key here that can always be invoked. Okay, So this is where we started. When they ask you how something affects the economy, you need four goals. Four goals, you might want to focus on two keys. Within this key, expectations. So I'm saying any event 